Hi, it's Emmett from Beer Engineers. Wait, one more beer from Brewing is Disruption to review. Now this one, I kept for last because I love it. <laughs> the can of it. Attribute Strength. It's a single hop citra beer. 5.7% hazy IPA. That's a die 20 in the front of it. And I brought 18, which is the maximum for a normal human Ability, attribute, strength. Love this D and D. Been been playing D and D my life. This has been eight, which is a long time ago. Early early player. I've been doing that for God knows nearly forty years. And I love it, and it's crazy to see now how popular how popular it is. I mean, people are going to like theaters to watch people play. What? <laughs> Still can't get over it. It's great though. Um, yeah, it's really good. I think the new version of D&D has really helped. Best version I've played, to be honest, and I've played every single one of them, pretty much. Still have the original books at home. Up in the attic. Advanced D&D. Even played a bit of basic. Anyway, enough about that. We're here to talk about beer. So, Anipa. Don't... Do you have a Citra? What am I looking at? The hops. Oh my god, it's a single hop. <laughs> Citra. Why am I looking at the back? That's on the front. Right, so let's see what this looks like. Plenty head in it. Looks like a bit of carbonation in there. Cloudy. Quite cloudy, actually. Quite thick. This is a hazy IPA, I suppose. I suppose this could be seen as one of these educational ones where it's a single hop. Helps you get to know the different hops. Citra. I've had plenty of individual uh, single hop beers from with Citra. So let's get a nose on it. So it's quite a floral, actually. Floral, a background of um, sort of <clears throat> citrus, I suppose, a kind of orangey type nose on it. With a bit of. What am I getting out of that? I suppose it's like almost melon as well. Well, that's the nose. Let's see what it tastes like. Surprisingly, there's not a lot of taste bursting out of it. Um, it's like there's a sort of quite a wide spanning overall taste. There's not no particular things coming out. I'm getting a little bit of a little bit of funkiness out of it. There's a slight bit of a sharp acidic, not sharp, but a bit of an acidic taste of it. There's the backgrounds of juiciness there. Um, I suppose it's like a, it is kind of a grapefruity, citrusy type taste of it. There's no, there's no particular taste coming out and punching you in the gut, if you know what I mean. It's all right. Pity, because I was hoping that one would be great. It's all right. It does the job, but. I wonder if to do any other attributes, intelligence, dexterity, etc. Or charisma. I have to have a look and see what else they have. Um, so I suppose it is a single hop NEPA. Usually best to have a combination to get the best out of a NEPA, but anyway. 7 5.7%. It's not going to blow you away, but it's not bad. It's generally the case with these single single hop 
type beers. There's a reason they mix them together to get, you know, I can tell this is the back. I can tell this can, this, this could be used as a good, you know, it's got a bit of body to it. It's a good background top, adding a bit of the slight bitterness to it. Better with extra taste added on top, I don't know how much. Anyway, Marks, I'm going to give that a bit of five, five, six. It's nothing exceptional, but it's a single hop beer, say true. Um, hmm, I'm gonna to have to look and see what other ones they have around. Anyway, so that's my that's the results. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.